All right, welcome back to Snowpanda Gaming and to Crusader Kings 2, or as some like to call it, Incest Simulator 2017. Why is that? Well, that's because you can pretty much do that in this game, and many other things which seem a bit weird, like join the Lucifer's cult and become a devil worshipper, for example. There are five ages you can start with, or you can customize the game setup, just choose your own start date. We are gonna start in the early middle ages again, because, you know, the dream is to um, have this uh, full run of going from 769 AD to 1444, where the game ends, and where, respectively, Europa Universalis 4 starts. So let's go. Uh, I will actually think I'll, I'll pick the same nation I did my tutorial with, which is uh, also uploaded to YouTube, and you can find it on my channel if you're not aware what this game is and what it's about. So I think Sir Vesex is a good, good country to do. Uh, mainly, I like it mainly be the same reasons why I liked it in the tutorial. It's not under anybody. It's an independent nation, but it's also um, in an area which is not yet uh, unified into some big uh, powerhouse like uh, the Francia will be in, in a moment. Usually the uh, Carloman dies and, and West Francia actually um, unifies into a proper Francia quite quickly, but it's not the same here in England and in Britannia as a whole. You, of course, have the Mercia, which is a powerhouse, which is uh, which has a couple of uh, uh, tributaries here and there. But, you know, I don't think it's unbreakable and uh, a sort of a semi-underdog start appeals to me. So, um, I think that's what we'll do. And, uh, yeah. Let's go with it. You, you could also, I have the DLC to customize your ruler um, and the, the house you are playing with, but that also uh, removed the achievements. And since I've done it basically every single time I've played this game uh, in my 250 odd hours, um, I've actually never gotten a lot of uh, achievements, only a few, I think. I have 9% or something, something very low according to Steam. So let's go with the the Surdising family and just mid with Sinewolf uh, to start with. Um, what I'm trying to do here is obviously survive and we will probably die in a horrible plague or, or somewhere in the battlefield, but we will try to survive the 700 years this game lasts and uh, actually form England first, and then try to form uh, Great Britannia and maybe something else, we'll see how long that takes. But that's like the short-term goals for this campaign. The immediate short-term goal obviously is to survive, and as we learned from my tutorial gameplay, the uh, Surdising family starts with two living uh, members, me and my son, I don't even have a wife nor my son as a wife, so uh, let's start. And uh, the game rules, I think I'll keep pretty much default. I mean, the, uh, we're going to have major epidemics and the Mongol invasion, the sunset invasion, which is a funny um, DLC. Most people seem to hate it for some reason, but I don't know. The after you press pause, this game is ahistorical anyway, and there's going to be some weird things happening, so uh, uh, an invading Aztec nation from across the seas is just, I think it fits perfectly. And, uh, well, it's it's very likely that we won't even see it. It's 1300th century when they're going to be coming at their earliest. It's 769 now, so it's 600 years, or 250 at least. Um, uh, sorry, uh, 550, yeah, my math is pretty. Uh, before they came anyway, so we might be dead by then. 
This is the uh, this is also a playthrough with the J Dragon DLC that just came out yesterday. And there's going to be apparently Chinese invasions. China will launch both tributary wars and major invasions. Chinese adventurers can spawn. This is interesting. All right, so I believe they be in the game. If I close this, there's also the Tibet uh, area is now playable, and it seems to be a pretty unified, strong nation. Let's see what there's. Chengo Purga Trisong, Detsen of Tibet. That's a, that's a mighty name. Chempo of Tibet. Alright. And there's Western Protectorate. Alright, so this is uh, General Guo Zin of the Western Protectorate. I think this is uh, representing China. Interesting, interesting. So, um. Yeah, these are the new new places. So I guess China China can invade now. So what else do they have new? Only characters within China's diplomacy range can use grace actions. I think that's correct. I think I'm not sure what grace actions are, but I think there are the interactions where you can say the eunuch or or ask for military help or whatnot with the Chinese emperor. He's gonna be uh, basically a box where you can click. So, uh, if, if we uh, put anyone, it's going to obviously disable the achievement, which we don't want. Uh, but we could interact with the Emperor of China in 769, which, I don't know, I don't like it. So, let's keep it as normal. Border dispute wars. Captors can, through to spending piety and gold, start border dispute wars tar targeting single counties. <laughs> really? That's new. Well, it says Jade Dragon, so that, that's how we know. So we can start border dispute wars targeting single counties. That means we don't... Does that mean we don't need a, a claim anymore? That's huge. That means I can uh, probably start wars with Surrey and Sussex like in, immediately, which is... That's amazing, actually. So that could mean that this uh, the war should be coming or more frequently because the uh, if you gonna make a claim that has like a with a ten diplomacy chancellor that's like something like ten percent chance every year that you will get the claim so it's a bit of a chance of luck more than anything if you get a claim. Sorry, I have some wonderful gin and tonic here, which is gonna make this playthrough even more interesting. All right, what else? All new castles belly introduced in J Dragon can be used. All right. Did you duchy claim ducal county conquest, force vassalization, great realm conflict, liberate religion, and permanent tributary? These are actually huge. I wonder if they're open through technology, or if they're if they're open right away or if it's more maybe tied to your chancellor's skill or something that is huge yeah let's try those i guess that's the rest is from older dlcs all right so that's the jade dragon four things chinese invasions chinese interactions border dispute wars and new castles about that's huge let's try cool i'm gonna do uh name this YouTube, Ironman Wessex, because as you know already, I go to YouTube. Alright, and I forgot to start my clock again, but I think it's a bit like 10 minutes, so. <laughs> Gotta keep this, try to keep this short. That's what I said in the first tutorial video, but uh, <laughs> it ended up being one hour long. But uh, yeah, let's try to keep these at least uh, 30 minutes long. All right, welcome to Crusader Kings 2. If you don't know what this game is about, I also, again, say please watch my tutorial video. Really. It shows what the uh, uh, the UI is and what you can do in the game. At least the basics. All right, and we are an Anglo-Saxon Catholic king, so uh, you're a feudal government. It rolls around the oath between liege and vassal. All right, good, good, good. Catholic is one of the oldest branches of Christianity. So we, the head of Pope, is in Rome. 
I mean, I guess the rest of the body is as well, but at least head. All right, so yeah, what what you should probably notice here is that we can, because we are a feudal lord, we can only have castle forts and hospital holdings. So that means I think you're uh, the opening uh, holding of county capital, and then also these. Uh, What's it called? I think it's Barony. It's the castle holdings name. And England probably doesn't have it. There's one. Barony of Thotham. So we could we could claim that to ourselves. Probably will. Alright, and um Can rogue titles from tribal government vassals of another religion without objection from the other vassals. Okay, that's interesting to know. Everything is Catholic in, in uh in uh, Britannia and right now, so it doesn't help immediately, but if we like invade Scandinavia or something, that's something to think about. And move capital within the same lifetime every 600 months. It's many, many months, many years. Uh, tribal government vessels are not included in vessel limit characters. That's interesting as well. Can, can't run kingdoms and empires to characters with government from a different group, okay? And also, the the bishops can um, choose where they will pay, pay their taxes. It's under this bar, but you know, like this guy doesn't pay. He pays taxes to the Pope, not instead of me. If you get the um, opinion above uh, the opinion of his uh, Pope, he will pay to you. So that's good to know. Hmm. So good, Jin. Anyway, let's start. Uh, so we have immediate problems with not having wife to me or my son. So let's handle that. I think I'd like some alliances from... I'm gluttonous? I am. I'm a fatty. Alright. Which she doesn't like. But I think this was a good lady to have. The problem is I'm 49. I could die like tomorrow. Uh, my my son is 19, so the age would be better for the 22 or 25. Oh yeah, there's three princes of Lombardy actually. <laughs> Interesting. All right. So do we have any um, like neighbors who have children we could marry? I get. Uh, Claims that way. Sixteen. Are you? Hmm. Interesting. She's shite though. With uh, with the uh, abilities or attributes. Oops. So. Yeah, I think we'll do with the Lombardy and then just do, do a bit throttle with the Prince of France. Yeah, I think I have a high hope that a Charlemagne here, King Carl, uh, will unite uh, Francia as he did in real life. And I think King Carloman I, who is brother to uh, King Charlemagne, I guess he's not called Charlemagne yet because he hasn't united it, united the Francia. But I think Carloman will die at some point, and then well, there will be a revolt, and then Carl will get the throne. So marrying into that family, I think, is very wise. Anyway, let's. Well, there's three twenty-something lovely little ladies here. Thrifty clerk, detached priest. This is the um, education. As you probably know now. Oh, it's a brave and gregarious. Zealous, ambitious, temperate, chaste. These are all good, except ambitious. He might, she might be ambitious enough to kill my son, which is not her. Hers, so. Ooh, lustful. She has pretty terrible stats, though. Now oh, she's paranoid as well. I'm brave as well, so let's get another brave. We'll, we'll keep, a, keep a brave family. There we go. And then my son, who I will marry to Gisela. 
Is, do you have any other children? Two and zero. Hold on. Is, this is not Parliament's daughter? Who are you? Oh, it's a sibling to Ian Carl. Oh, it's a sister to. Alright. That does thing change things a bit. My son is 19, so I'd like to marry to someone who is not too like this child here. We would have to wait 14 years for her to uh, be of age and start producing children. Which is the only thing women are good for in this area, in the <laughs> feudal, feudal ages. Uh, I think you can change the laws so that women can also inherit, which does make things interesting. Let's see, do we have... I uh, can't remember what the gender laws... So we could change to academic cognitic. Uh, but only if there are no eligible males. That would be actually pretty good. Do we want to do right? Do it right now. Absolute cognitics, probably. Women can hear it on the same grounds men do. Okay, so that would be that would make women equal, which is unheard of in the Middle East ages. Do we want to be? Uh, we want to do that, but we can't do that. One of the one of these must be true. That's stopping us. Holder as culture. Blah blah blah. Basque. Zhang Zhong Sumpa publicly follows the Cathar, Messali, and Mazdaki. And no, Cathar is a it's a heresy of Christianity, I think. And we are not Basque. Or Zhang Zhong is probably Chinese something. Sumpa, I'm not aware of. One of these must be true. Petty Kingdom of Petty Kingdom of Wessex holder primary title has the law full status of woman. Oh, okay. Where do we uh, status of women? Okay, we have tradition status, of, traditional status of women. Women are prevented from holding all job positions. Wow, some government types will allow restricted academic inheritance laws. Marginal, marginal. Women are allowed to hold some power, occupying background positions behind the people in charge. Significant, notable, full. Okay. So when do when can we change this? Tolerance level is greater or equal to three. That's um, technology. I think there's yeah tolerance here, and it's not even one. So it needs to be here, which it says laws unlock marginal status of women. Okay, and then you can get to so need six or full status of women. Uh, well, I mean, uh, I think it's still used in Finland, uh, in Finland, England currently because we have a queen. So I think that's something we should try to do. Not not sure, we're entirely sure if we want to keep this, trying to keep this historical, but yeah, I think so. Hmm. All right, so maybe we should just marry a bit of based on... Uh, we could do it because my my son is pretty useless in, in say in intrigue for example. As a Midas touch, do we have any uh, nice traits? Genius? No genius. We have a bit. You brave? I think I tried to marry one of those. Uh, and quick? No. Attractive? No. What else is good? Midas touch. Uh, well, I think I'll, I'll actually just marry the. Uh, wonder why this resets when you uh, look for people because now there's no uh, the uh, princess of. I mean, I can find her here. But, uh, still. What? This is 
Oh well. No, now she's back again. I don't know. That's a weird bug. Alright, so if you marry, yeah, 200 prestige from uh, marrying the relative of an emperor. Which is uh, his sister. I think it's a good way to get into the Carling family. Alright, what else? New important decisions. Yes, and we want a court position. Let's try to find that. We have sent messengers, messengers and, and scouts out in all directions to scour the realm for skilled physicians that would be willing to take up residence in your court. Word should reach you shortly if they manage to find a suitable candidate. Hopefully they will not bring back a quacksalver. No idea how that's pronounced. Sorry, my English. English is not my first language, as you probably have noticed already. So, no idea how that's pronounced, but quacksalver is good enough for me. I hope I do not have to wait long. So do I. So, rule unmarried, we know that. We have unmarried there, we know that. The man's too big. So, we have four out of three. We will get a boost with the... What was the wife's future wife's name? Was it Gerberga? I can't remember. Stubborn, envious, content. It wasn't this one, it was a brave one. Zealous Gerberga. Oh, there's so many women. What? Yeah, it was this one. Dauf. Dauf. Ferrada. Dauf Ferrada. Lombardy. Okay. So she has one stewardship. Oh, that's bad. That is bad. So. What we could do is just choose. Uh, rulership, which would give enough stewardship. Hopefully, that I will get past the. Not sure how much is the limit to get one more. We don't get any rulership stewardship bonus now. That's also that's bad though because then we basically can't change it without pissing everybody off. Hmm. I could also. My son is unlanded, so. I could give him a state. So we can grab this. This is pretty shitty. Oh. Right now it's Dorset, which is the one county which doesn't have any uh, upgrades to the county capital. It was pretty sure it was this Wilton for. Oh, Winchester doesn't have anything either. Alright. Um, yeah, I think I'll just go with it. I think this guy was going to do it die anyway, so. Uh, seat around Prosper. We can't be at peace for five years, so. Just build a king of England is a good ambition. King Sinewolf wants to become king of England. If, if Hagen, it allows him unlimited use of subjugation castles belly within the kingdom. If the Fabricate claim, Claims Councillor mission is available, it may acquire a claim on England with this ambition. It also a reduced cost for creating the kingdom if it does not yet exist. That's the only thing that's useful for us at this moment because Kingdom of England doesn't exist. This ambition cannot be cancelled. That's good. Alright, and... Um, I'll just choose ru rulership. Unlanded son, we know that. Special title actions. Crown focus in Dorset. That's good. I think I'll, I'll build that heavily up with our money. That's usually the smart thing to do. And what else? We have some minor titles here. We'll see. I think. Oops, I keep clicking this features button. Uh, sorry about that. Let's see if we have any. Discontent vassals. We really don't, but that could change it at that moment. Notice. So let's keep those special minor titles available. They don't really give the. These are just uh, titles without any land, so they don't give any that much bonuses, or we don't lose a lot, but we will get opinion bonuses for that person. So in case we need it, this is new. I think 
or tutor. I haven't seen this before. Will serve us as a default educator for all, all children at court who don't have assigned guardian. That's interesting. So if we uh, have someone who's really smart, which obviously we don't, uh, there's like one one of these attributes for tea presents is above 10. Um, but yeah, we could keep that in mind as well. Good, so, all right, the new, um, because before, the new, new castle spell I changed, because if I would put this chancellor dude to play, do a claim here in Sussex, it would take forever, because he has 4.5% chance yearly to get that claim. It was not even 10, which I said at the start, but I remember it wrong. So can we just, you know, declare war? Yeah, force vassalization, order dispute over Sussex. You can choose to dispute any country, county that borders you. Beware that choosing to wage a conquest not backed by a claim carries hefty penalties. The penalties are, are the highest when attacking someone following your religion, peace, fairly high while attacking someone of your religion group, and still significant when attacking someone of another religion group. So we, when we declare war, we lose 200 piety. We have 15, okay. Lose 156 gold. And the uh, Pope will not like us. The opinion of all landed characters of your religious group in your realm and the uh, realm of Ur Osman changes minus 50. Well, I'm the only char only landed character in in my realm, and he's a one county miner, so he doesn't have anybody else uh, either. Who will help me? If we win the war, yeah, that's normal. Okay, establish tributary state. All right, so. Through war, you can force any realm that you, you or one of your tributary states border to pay twenty percent of their income. So okay, the different from uh, from actually tribute. Oh, did they? They I guess they nerfed tributary states. Stored tributary. Okay, that's normal tributary. Oops. Four, three, four. You can force any realm that you border to pay 40% of their income as tribute. This type of tributary will break free upon the death of the suzerain. Okay, so when my dude dies, this will break free. It's not good. Especially if, when he's 49. Was he 40? Yeah, 49. No. Uh, interesting, though. So, bordering me... Interesting. We'll only break free if Suvering has negative prestige, is not independent, has less realm size than a tributary state, or declines defensive call arms from a tributary state. Does that mean when my Suzerain dies, or his Suzerain, which is me, dies? Doesn't say that though. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe this extort tributary, which uh, gives forty percent instead of the twenty percent, um, and levy fifteen percent of levy reinforcement. I guess this is permanent, and this is breaks free when death of Azuzre. Okay. Force vassalization. What's different? Ah. Uh, our Osman the Sussexy is weak and in need of protection. They will be better off in our realm. That's true. By spending a significant amount of prestige, you can uh, go to war and f to forcibly make them your vassal as long as they are of lower tier than you, at or below 30 realm size, and where the ruler is either of your religion or culture group. I think each and one of those uh, conditions are met. 250 prestige, that's a lot of prestige. 
So before, I believe prestige wasn't really valuable. It was just something you add to the score. You didn't really use it. But now it seems with the new Casas Bella, you you need a lot of prestige and piety as well. I mean, this is obviously what I would like to do, but I don't have piety enough or wealth. So, okay. I mean, it's a bit easier to get flames now, but I think we'll still send the dude to make it for us. So can we not even... Uh, we could extort tributary, but that's only when this dude dies. I, I don't see the point, really. Okay, so... What should we want more? I mean, they're pretty similar. I guess Sussex is more important. So let's send my useless chancellor. We have we have one better. So, uh, so useless people around here. Okay, send him there. I'm gonna train troops. We are gonna collect taxes. That would increase prosperity, but we, I think we need money more now. Uh, scheme, plot kiss cover with chance. Yes, exactly what I want you to do. We don't actually need to be. Alright, so he's in the capital. Good. On states. Yeah, that's good. Alright, what else? Oh, we can unpause, I feel. Let's put it on two. Usually play on two or three. And let's see what happens. You could borrow money you straight away. Cool, the betrothal went through, so my son and uh, King Carl's sister are now betrothed for four years until she is 16, and then it can be an uh, official marriage. And uh, I got married. Well, yay! To a young, hot 22 year old. As a 49 year old. I mean, that's. A win in my usually uh, it's a win in my book. Uh, usually I take gold, but the prestige helps us declare wars now. We would get half. We would actually go above the threshold of have, uh, prestige to wage war immediately. But we still need the money, though. I guess I'll take the money and uh, because this guy could die as well, then we use the prestige. So let's go with money and start building our first. Actually, pause and build. Castle Walls are, is a wonderful first building. So is Castle Town because they both give more tax income, which means that you will make more money and you will get the required money to build all these buildings faster. Castle Walls also increases levy size, which is this one. I think that's a good idea. Let's go with that. So now, oh, we are actually at the main size now. Good, we get one bonus for because we choose rulership focus. An envoy from the city of Dorchester arrived with news regarding your search for a physician. The envoy told you of a promising medical student named Osov. The young man managed to save the life of one of the daughters of an important local trader not long ago, and apparently she only lost an eye in the process. Uh, Coercing him to join your court would be an easy task. Also, alright. He is shit. I think it's based on learning skill. He's a good physician or not. He has the renowned physician trait, but... Uh, Ah, uh, I think we'll pass. I don't need him. I think something with above 10 would be nice. 15 even, maybe. If we're lucky, 20. Learning skill. Search for Smith. This is new. Send out word that you're looking for Smith Forge for you. But that requires money, I think. You will get some... Uh, Treasury artifacts for you. I guess that's not important right now. Uh, what else is here? We could hold a summer fair, but it's not 
May yet, it's February. I could actually do this in a couple of months. I think I will. I could also hold a feast, but it needs to be after November and before January, so. Okay. Just put it on three. You can adjust the speed by pressing plus or minus, either here or on your keyboard. All right, it's April now. Can we have a another? Oh, greater than May. Okay. So one month. I can sit on my gin while we wait. It's May now. Let's go. I have given the order that summer fair should be held in Wessex this summer. Nice. Usually has some interesting events. Um, the summer fair's archery contest went very well. The cloud and the space around it was filled with arrows. Some of them had hit the bullseye, some of them had missed the cloud altogether. The winner was a modest man who disappeared rather quickly after he collected the prize. That is suspicious. We want paranoid. No, really. Marshal, find and arrest that man. Good archer, that man. So it's this guy. City of Dorches. Okay. Mm, I don't mind my uh, muscle liking me a bit more. I usually go with the <laughs> either the most fun option or either the one which uh, is the most beneficial to me. So I feel that that's the most beneficial at that point. Could be wrong, but you know. A group of hedge knights have come to visit Vesex. Mayor Seinwolf. Mayor Seinwolf? Has met with them and asked for a reply. Who the fuck is Mayor Seinwolf? We have uh, some of my kinsmen as a, as a vessel. Kufberg. Only city it has have mayor. Oh, so. huh. Myers, Mayor Sign of Observe. Oh, he's not me, but we share the same name. All right. Oh, and um, welcome them with lavish feast. Lose ten gold, and uh, we get the Gregarious. Gregarious is pretty nice. Really good, actually. He has none, uh, no negative uh, modifiers. Diplomacy, attraction, opinion, less opinion. We just uh, Gary is and socially competent. I guess that's best option if you pay ten gold. Welcome them reluctantly. Get one prestige, lose a big gold. Refuse them access. I feel like this is the only way to go. So now we are gregarious. It's nice. The hedge knights have participated in a minor tournament together with our knights in Wessex. Sadly, one of those landless vagabonds has been severely injured. Pay for some medication and send them on their way. Allow them to stay at the castle while he, while he requires. He would lose prestige. Bit of gold. Well... You know, treasure is not exactly wonderful. Uh, let's... Let's allow them to stay at the castle while he recover. Alright. The peddlers are loading their wares and the merchants are taking down their stalls. The jugglers, strolling players and the other entertainers are preparing to leave. The summer fair is over for this year. It was a great fun while it lasted. Gain 10 prestige. Alright. And that is also a good place for me to stop. I think this is <laughs> over 30 minutes already. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.